Join our free WhatsApp group to get daily latest updates. It's totally free. Hello everyone. Our today's video is about IELTS speaking interview. If you are going to appear in this exam, then it's must to watch this video till end. How should I enter the examination room and what to do there? So this is the question which many students ask. Well, guys, today's video is about this only. Okay? So let's get started. IELTS speaking is a face-to-face -face informal discussion with an IELTS examiner and is the same for both academic and general training. The test is divided into three parts and is designed to test proficiency, pronunciation, fluency, grammar and vocabulary on the basis of which band scores are given to the candidate. Though IELTS speaking is one of the most enjoyable part of IELTS test, a lot of people find it challenging. A candidate has ample number of queries regarding speaking such as what and how should I speak, what to do, do I have to greet the examiner and what will happen if my speaking would not go well. Among all one question is how should I enter the examination room and what to do there. Firstly candidate should be dressed properly in order to have a good impression. Feel free and confident. Don't look nervous as it would be the conversation between two people. When the test taker will enter the room, firstly he or she should greet examiner then sit on the chair only when examiner allows the same. Then examiner will introduce himself and ask what is your name. You can simply reply my name is so and so. Then examiner will ask what can I call you? You can simply say, you could call me so and so. Make sure you pronounce it correctly. Then the speaking interview will start. Now, what to do? Make sure the candidate reach to the exam premises 30 to 45 minutes prior to the scheduled time. This will ensure that you are not hurrying and have enough time to relax before the test. Second, maintain eye contact. Try to be comfortable, confident in front of examiner. Forget about any sort of nervousness. Thirdly, speak slowly, clearly and politely. Then avoid frowning or showing anger through facial expression. Remember, talk to examiner like a person, talk to other in a formal manner. Candidate's answer must sound as if he or she is conversing with examiner and not giving a speech. Also, listen carefully to examiner's question and make sure all questions are answered fully and appropriately. Apart from this, expand your answers as much as you can but should be relevant to the question. And there are certain things which you don't have to do. And the first one is, don't be in hurry if a person gets late. Don't move fast or seem panic. Just calm yourself. Second, do not wear vibrant clothes. Just represent simple and decent. Also, do not learn answers by rote. Some students think if they will learn answers that might will impress the examiner. No. The examiner is never impressed with scripted answers that might result poor scores. Be clear with your own ideas and represent yourself in unique ways. And remember, do not agree if you do not want to, as it is not necessary to agree with the examiner's opinion about the topic. Candidate can disagree and express their opinion politely, okay? And never use big words. Use the words to which you are familiar and pronounce correctly. Some candidates think difficult vocabulary will create good impression, but the case is not same. If the candidate forcefully tries to add such words, then examiner easily get to know. And it might make the examiner give the poor score. Next, do not stay quiet. Try to explain yourself. If the examiner contradicts, you just stuck to your words. Do not change your opinion or stay quiet. Explain yourself 
and represent your point of view. Also, do not fumble with the words. Pronounce clearly so that the examiner could understand you. I hope you find this video useful. So if you have any suggestion, write in comment section and let us know on which topic you want us to make video on. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. Like this video, share it and don't forget to subscribe our channel.